When Inmost released on PC just a couple weeks ago as of writing this review, I was ecstatic. I had been looking forward to this game for over a year, and the hype I was feeling around it was really as high as it could be. The trailers beforehand had led me to expect a dark, narrative-driven horror game that was sure to scare the shit out of me, and I was all for it. But when I saw it on Steam with a description reading, Escape the Depths of an Otherworldly Labyrinth in this cinematic puzzle platformer, I went, huh, that's weird, there's not even any mention of it being a horror game. But as I would soon come to find out, there's a reason for it. And while this game certainly wasn't what I was expecting when I walked in, I came out with something even greater. This review will contain no spoilers, and it'll also be fairly short. My ultimate goal of this review is to get even just one person to buy this magnificent game, so if I can convince someone to buy Inmost, I don't want to ruin the amazing experience for them that I know they won't see coming. And if I can't accomplish that, then I'll at least be able to gush about how much I love this game for just a little bit. Inmost follows three main characters, a knight, a wanderer, and a little girl. And throughout the story, you'll begin to find out how their stories are connected, and you'll begin to learn more about the dark world that surrounds them. Right off the bat, the game creates an intense and beautiful display of atmosphere that few other games can achieve. The music, the art style, the visual storytelling, all of it blends so harmoniously together that I can't help but appreciate the mastery at display that Hidden Layer Games was able to create. The soundtrack in particular is fucking stellar. The soundtrack is composed by Alexei Nakayev, Alexei Nakayev, Nachiev. I have no idea how to pronounce this guy's name, but the work Alexei has done for this game is phenomenal, and I can only pray he ends up working on more games in the future because his talent is truly unparalleled. The wonderful music he was able to create adds so much to Inmost as a whole. In fact, I don't think this game would be anywhere near as good if someone else was at the helm for music and sound design. But just as important is the visual style and visual splendor this game is unapologetically boastful about. And for good reason too. For a pixel art game, the visuals are striking at every moment, and there are some genuinely breathtaking scenes and set pieces. The only other indie game that might have been most speed in that department is Grease, which this game reminds me of a lot. For those of you that have played Grease, you'll know that the gameplay is relatively simple and light, but the spectacle of Grease doesn't come from its gameplay, it comes from the beautiful art direction and the feeling of awe through exploration. Inmost is very similar in many regards. If you liked Grease, you will almost certainly like this game, although it actually has a few different genres baked into the gameplay compared to Grease. It has light puzzle elements, light metroidvania elements, and light 2D action elements. If you end up going in expecting extremely deep combat and puzzles comparable to Portal, you'll be setting yourself up for disappointment. Instead, this game lets the gameplay take a backseat so that you can immerse yourself in its world and engross yourself in the story. And as I said before, this game, despite how it might appear on the surface, is not a horror game, although it does have horror elements. If you can go into this game with the expectations of a beautiful world and a rich story dripping in a dark atmosphere, you won't be disappointed. If the repetitive grind of AAA games, skill trees and level gating at every corner, and intense, non-stop action is what you crave, I'd advise you to turn your attention elsewhere. For everyone else that wants to experience real art in the form of a video game, Inmost is certainly worth your time. 
It goes for $15 right now on Steam and consoles, and I guarantee you'll be getting your money's worth and then some. And there really are very few stories, even in the massive indie space, that can compare to Endmost. Everything in this game has a deeper meaning to it, something to look for behind the curtain, and I found myself sinking more and more into it until the credits finally rolled. Everything unravels beautifully and culminates into an amazing final scene that speaks to the player in every way. At the time of writing this review, I have beaten the game twice and I still don't quite understand everything because of how much time and effort went into this game by the devs to make the world and story as deep as possible. Inmost is roughly a three and a half hour game and with everyone cooped up inside right now anyway, I strongly recommend this game to you for you to pick up and play in one sitting and maybe come back to if this game speaks to you as much as it did to me.